I'm Mr. Kowalski. I teach Algebra 1 and provide math support. And I think today we're talking about sneakers. So that starts back to middle school. I had a friend um, and we used to spend our afternoons after school uh, flipping through East Bay catalogs. It was that big catalog you used to get with sporting goods and stuff. And we would draw logos from there of different teams and um, and seeing all the sneakers that were in there is kind of where that all started. And then my mom and dad were, um, they didn't, they didn't see my love of sneakers and they didn't understand it. So, you know, when I was young, I only really had one pair of shoes. I wore them until they wore out. And, you know, I would say that's normal existence for most people. Um, so it wasn't really until I got out of college, got a job, had some money that I could start really actually collecting and starting my sneaker collection. I, I actually don't know. I stopped counting uh, once it got over 100. So it's over 100, but I'm not sure um, because my inventory is always in flux too. So I've got some stuff that I'm keeping, some stuff that I'm trying to sell, some stuff that I'm trying to trade for other things that I want. So it's like, um, and I would say probably a hundred that are in my rotation for sure. Uh, oh, that's easy. I can show you too because they're right here. I have this little display. Um, but these ones, these are Air Max 1 slash 97 Sean Witherspoons. These came back. Um, there was a little program for Air Max Day through the Nike sneaker app and people voted on the model that they liked the best and this is the one that won. And just the hype around it was crazy, but I could care less about the hype. It's the materials, it's like all corduroy. Each panel is a different color. Um, the yellow is just crazy. Uh, and it's a molding of like two of my favorite shoes. So the top, the upper is an Air Max 97 and then the sole itself is an Air Max 1. So I don't know, just everything about this shoe is cool. But to be honest, most people don't get it. They, why do you need that many pairs of shoes? I, that one looks just like another pair that you have. They just don't understand that to me, it's more than, it's not just shoes. It's not just something that I just put on my feet to wear out of the house or in the house because I wear a pair of shoes every single day. To me, it's more of a, an extension of my personality or a way to show a little bit about who I am or the sneakers kind of tell a story. So I try to buy things that I am really passionate about and things that I really like or things that really speak to me and uh, just have, it's almost like collecting a form of artwork in my opinion. Oh, just, just be you, man. What makes you unique and what makes you you is the most important thing. And ignore everybody else that's out there. Ignore the haters and just do you. Do you what makes you happy. And sneakers make me happy. The hunt, the search, um, the research, the culture, the community that is built up around sneakers. I'm sure whatever your hobby is, there's, there's an avenue for that out there somewhere. And there are like-minded people <clears throat> like you who are have the same interests so just go for it man be proud of who you are be proud of being different and stick to your guns